An investigation is now underway in St. Petersburg after racist graffiti was found on campus at a local Catholic school. Today's students, the St. Pete NAACP and several local leaders held a press conference with school leaders to talk about what happened and demand change. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline joins us from outside St. Petersburg Catholic High School to explain. Black students at this school say that racist graffiti incident is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to racist behavior they've encountered here. To have the words monkey carved into a teacher's door. It's the kind of language that makes your blood boil. But black students at St. Petersburg Catholic High School say they're hearing it and seeing it from fellow students. And after this racist graffiti was recently found in a school bathroom. We're here today because multiple African-American students. The St. Pete NAACP students and other community leaders came together Tuesday to speak about the issue. The conversation included a message from State Senator Daryl Roussan, who went to that high school. I am not proud of the vile and violent graffiti that was inscribed on a bathroom wall by an insensitive coward. The group is calling for changes to the culture in the school and for whoever is behind the graffiti to be found and punished. They're also calling for at least one staff member to lose their job. When we hear that the dean of students calls black students hoodlums, and then retracts it by saying his words were a bad choice. As the president of the caucus, I'm going to say it. The dean needs to be removed from the position. The school's principal attended that press conference and released a video statement promising accountability, but he did not address concerns about that dean. Our hearts and prayers go out to students who have become distraught because of the actions of others. This is not acceptable. What the principal did say is that they're going to continue to investigate that graffiti incident and work to make changes in the school. In St. Pete, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.